All right, guys, so I got the radiator in here. As you can see, um, you know, a trick to doing the radiator is, you know, you got to get the fan shroud in there, put it over the fan the right way. And um, you can attach your upper hose to the radiator, but you can't, you can't attach the lower hose down here when you're putting it together. Um, just because you can't get the fan, uh, fan shroud to, to, to get through and, and bolt onto the onto the back of the radiator so upper 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 um, upper hose can go on lower one put the shroud on first then set your radiator in there once you set your radiator in there put your lower your lower bolts uh, four lower bolts right here that hold two on each side one and two I, I lost the bolt so I gotta find one but there's one on two on each side set that in there loose and then you can adjust your hoses get some soap on your hoses uh, on, the, on the fittings so that you can get them on there. I had to get one onto where the thermostat is and one on the top of the radiator and then of course one on the bottom of the radiator which goes to the water pump in here um, and that all went on and they were, those hoses were the right hoses. They worked. Uh, I think I just had them mixed up in the left when I was talking to you about them. And then of course um, bolted on the fan shroud, four bolts, two on each side, um, tightened everything down, tightened the clamps down for the hoses and um, and then we and then I grab this side piece here. This is a you know we're facing the front of the tractor. This left side piece has to come off when you take everything apart. Uh, but I just uh, I just I just put that on now with the with the uh, overflow hose that goes up to the radiator top there and plugs in. Um, so I did that. So that that's pretty much the trick with that. Um, getting pretty close here. I got to put the battery on. Once I put the battery on, I think I'm pretty much. Uh, done and I'm waiting for the turbocharger to come in um, So That's gonna be about it. We're getting pretty close um, So I'll be back with you when I'm ready to start this thing. Okay. All right Just one final look over just so you can see what it looks like Pretty nice got everything nice and clean and uh, Getting close Alright guys, it's the moment of truth. I got the whole thing back together. Um, you know, I had some trouble. Believe it or not, I bought a new turbocharger. Turbocharger's right here. And uh, I cross-threaded this oil hose that comes out of the block of the motor up on top of the turbocharger here. And um, son of a bitch, I had to buy a new turbocharger. So there it is. I got an aftermarket though. I got it on Amazon, believe it or not, for 500 bucks. I think it was 480. Um, uh, obviously, it came from China, but it looks pretty well built, I gotta say, and it seems to be okay. Um, so, um, a, you know, a turbocharger from John Deere is 1,300 dollars. So I'm willing to take the gamble on that. I also got a new hose for the turbocharger too, right there. So I guess I'm gonna start her up and see where we go. I mean, I've I've uh, bled the the fuel filter. I've pumped this several times. Um, so I think I got enough fuel in the system. Um, what else? I mean, I got everything back together. I got the uh, new. I got uh, the new uh, air filters are in here. There are two. I'd recommend that with a new motor. You don't want any dust particles getting into the motor after you get it all back together and I had a dirty old filter in there so I replaced them there's an internal and an external filter um, and uh, right now I just filled it up with water I'm gonna uh, let it circulate and drain it out a few times just get the crap but if there's any crap in there I'll get it out and then I'll put uh, fluid in there but um, you know fuel injectors uh, I had some trouble with the fuel injectors um, but I was able to get the the parts for the the new uh, some new new uh, nuts. Uh, there's a new um, uh, rubber washer that goes inside of there, and there's also a rubber washer that goes on the side of these here. On these, a little bit of a pain in the butt, but um, got it all together. Got new injectors in there. So I guess um, you know we'll see if we can get the old 5065E to start here. Let's see. Um,
Maiden voyage. Fingers crossed. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. All right, here we go. 